exactly how much power do you have as a member of the subcommittee? Which one? I'm on two. Foreign ops. Eight members and myself hand out 11 billion in foreign assistance. And what about the defense subcommittee? Our budget is hidden. It is also unlimited. Yeah. Would you like to see my room? Yeah. So unless I'm wrong, and that would be unusual for me, you sit at the intersection of the State Department, the Pentagon, and the CIA. You meet in a soundproof room underneath the Capitol, and you preside over a secret and unlimited budget for the three agencies you would need to conduct a covert war. Isn't that right? I also have seats at the Kennedy Center. Isn't that how you were able to double the CIA budget for black approaches in Afghanistan just by saying so? Why are you only asking me questions you already know the answers to? Why is Congress saying one thing and doing nothing? Well, tradition mostly. Come here. Okay. I, I do not understand the energy women have after sex. You know, you're dancing around. You're baking a pie. Charlie. Yes, ma'am. Why is the CIA running a fake war in Afghanistan? They're, they're doing everything they can. They're doing it badly. The CIA is arming the Mujahideen. What do you think they're getting their weapons? They're arming them with 12.7 millimeter Deshukas, which would be good, except the Soviets have specifically armor-plated their hind helicopter to resist a 12.7 millimeter shell. We sold Pakistan F-16s, but didn't give them the look down, shoot down radar. If this were a real war, state would issue a white paper outlining the communist threat the way they did in El Salvador. If this were a real war, there'd be a national bipartisan commission on Afghanistan, headed by Henry Kissinger the way they did in Central America. If this were a real war, Congress would authorize $24 million for covert operations the way you did in Nicaragua. If this were a real war. You may be the sexiest woman ever. I'm not kidding. You are Helena Troy. Are you patronizing me? What do you want me to do, Joanne? This is what I want you to do. I want you to save Afghanistan for the Afghans. I want you to deliver such a crushing defeat to the Soviets that communism crumbles and in so doing, end the Cold War. I'll tell you, I do it too, but I got this Dairy Queen problem in Nagadoches. Don't underestimate me, Charlie. Believe everything you've heard. What exactly do you want me to do? Go to Pakistan and meet with Zia. Zia? Mohammed Zia ul -Haq. He's the president of Pakistan. I've already arranged it. You've arranged a meeting between me and the president of Pakistan? Yes. You're going to Israel next week to meet with V. Rafi about the Lavi Jets. I want you to attack Pakistan on the end of your trip. And meet with the president? Let him convince you that it's a Christian imperative to let the Afghans rid their country of communism. OK. It's not likely the president of Pakistan is a Christian, but I'm going to do this for you, Joanne, because you saved my ass once with the pro-lifers, and I owe you my seat in Congress, and because you look very good naked. Mm. But I have to tell you, I, I, I'm elected by Jews. How many Jews do you have in your district? Uh, seven. But congressmen aren't elected by voters. They're elected by contributors, and mine are in well, New York, Florida, Hollywood, because I'm one of Israel's guys on the Hill. I don't know how they're going to feel about me taking up the cause of Muslims. Well, that's your problem. Yes, it is. Go fight this war and win it, Charlie. Everything possible is on the line, including your manhood. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Well, I guess it ain't going to be twice tonight. Well, I guess somebody can't count. Oh, darling, I was talking about me. Oh, darling, I was talking about me.